WWE wrestlers who gave up everything to live a normal life. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. Number 11, Midian. During his time in WWE, Midian portrayed all sorts of characters ranging from a pig farmer to a demonic soothsayer who worshipped The Undertaker. Who can forget the time he ran around the arena naked and changed his name to Naked Midian? When he called it a day in his in-ring career, the former European champion decided to explore his love for gastronomy, and he began to work as a chef in a top restaurant. Midian discussed his new career with WWE, and the passion Midian has for food is instantly noticeable. I found the fanciest restaurant in town and met with the chef. He really liked me and took me under his wing, and he taught me all this super fancy stuff, which is kind of my trademark. I like the presentation and using fancy ingredients. If you want to have a fancy dinner at your house for you and your wife for your anniversary, I'll come over and I'll cook a four or five course meal. Even though Midian hasn't wrestled in several years, he still keeps in touch with numerous names from his time as a wrestler, most notably The Undertaker. Midian even made a cameo appearance at the 2020 Survivor Series, a premium live event which celebrated the life and career of the dead man. Sadly though, Midian isn't doing too well health-wise. He recently stated that he's lucky to be alive after a health issue left him in the ICU for days. He also lost half his foot in a freak cooking accident. Number 10, Layla. Layla is mostly known by WWE fans for a time as one half of Lay Cool. Layla was vastly underrated in the ring and most of her work came at a time where the women's division was never given the spotlight. Years after her official WWE retirement, she has left the pro wrestling world behind her and the former WWE women's champion now works as a real estate agent. Even though Layla has left wrestling, this hasn't stopped fans from campaigning to see Layla inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame as fans believe her contributions to WWE should be formally acknowledged and celebrated. Number 9. Ivory The 2018 WWE Hall of Fame saw Ivory take her rightful place as an inductee. Ivory's speech was touching and humorous and it put a bow on what was an incredible career for a woman who became an inspiration for young female wrestlers during the Attitude Era. When Ivory retired almost two decades ago, she decided it was time to try something new. Ivory, like the class act she is, began to volunteer at a local animal shelter, and in 2007, she opened her own animal care business. Number 8. Steve Blackman The lethal weapon Steve Blackman was considered to be one of the toughest men in the locker room during the Attitude Era. When he stepped away from wrestling, Blackman seemed to disappear entirely, as fans had no idea what Blackman was even doing with his life. Years later, it surfaced that following his retirement, he started his own bail bond business. The official website for the business celebrates the fact that Blackman is a former WWE star, and the website also features a video in which Blackman delivers some of the worst acting imaginable. Number 7. Diamond Dallas Page Following his retirement from wrestling in 2002, Diamond Dallas Page decided to explore the act of yoga. Yoga would allow DDP to stay in shape whilst helping healing nagging injuries that forced the end of his career. The origin of his new career is discussed on his official website and it reads, Diamond Dallas Page originally developed DDPY for athletes like himself who had suffered years of injuries due to high impact sports. For the first 42 years of his life, Dallas was a guy who wouldn't be caught dead doing yoga or anything like that. When he ruptured his L4 and L5 spinal discs during the height of his professional wrestling career, he was so desperate to keep his childhood dream alive, he was willing to try anything. So he tried yoga for the first time in his life. It's wonderful to see that the former world champion has managed to turn his life around with yoga and he continues to help people from all walks of life to get back on their feet. Number 6. Paul Burchill The Paul Burchill pirate character was a character that had a ton of potential, yet WWE just couldn't commit to putting effort into making the character work. When Burchill ditched the character, his WWE career was on a downward trajectory and he'd just be a generic wrestler. And let's not get started on that bizarre storyline with his on-screen sister Katie Lee. Burchill asked for and was granted his release from WWE in 2010 and he decided to put his physical skills to good use as he began volunteering as a firefighter. Speaking to WWE's official website about his new career, this is what the former pirate had to say. Firefighting suited my attributes of being physical, being able to use tools and getting to do cool stuff. When I interviewed for the fire department, I said I could live around many people. I had traveled with the same people, we shared rooms, went to the gym together, ate together, did everything together. In recent years, Burchell has ventured beyond firefighting as he currently works as a firefighter paramedic role and he's also a member of the police SWAT team in Jefferson Town. Burchell didn't stop there however as he desires to become a nurse practitioner and according to Burchell, is becoming a running joke within the fire department. 
It's kind of a joke around the fire department that I've always got my nose in a book. It's true, but it's okay. I watch my wife go through graduate school and see how hard she's worked. It's work upon work upon work, but that end goal is worth it. Number 5. Rico When Rico departed WWE, he decided it was time to serve his great state and Rico would become a sergeant within the Nevada Taxi Cab Authority, and he also became a part-time district security officer for the US Marshals. The former tag team champion also became the talk of mainstream media after he was given an award by the Park Police Division for giving life-preserving first aid to a citizen. Number 4. Snitsky Snitsky was one of the more infamous characters of the past two decades, and although Snitsky never became world champion in WWE, he certainly left a lasting impression on fans. Snitsky had some incredible moments in the company, and who can ever forget the time he punted a fake baby into the crowd on Raw? After his release from WWE, he began running an army surplus store in Hamburg, Pennsylvania. Additionally, Snitsky has ventured into acting. WWE's YouTube channel caught up with a former WWE star a number of years ago, and he gave a fascinating insight into his life, and he came across incredibly well. It was evident that he was a fantastic human being. Number 3. Spike Dudley Spike Dudley's contributions to wrestling are well known. Dudley had successful careers both in ECW and WWE, and his work is incredibly underrated, particularly his stint as a heel in 2004 on the SmackDown brand. When the former Cruiserweight Champion retired, he fell off the public radar. Dudley didn't use social media, so it was difficult for fans to keep tabs on what he was up to. But thankfully, he would resurface years later on WWE's digital show The Bump, and the response on social media to Dudley was overwhelmingly positive, with fans urging WWE to put him in the Hall of Fame with immediate effect. Dudley now works in the world of finance, where he's a far cry from his days crashing through tables and jumping off ladders. Number 2. Mason Ryan WWE tried their best to make Mason Ryan a big-time star, but it just wasn't to be. This is perfectly okay as not every wrestler can be the next John Cena, or Batista in his case, and thankfully for Ryan, he found his calling outside the pro wrestling industry. When he departed WWE, he decided to make a bold step and join Cirque du Soleil as an archer. WWE's official website would catch up with a former New Nexus member for an interview back in 2016, and he would share details of his new venture. There were two or three fight scenes in the show itself, so obviously having my WWE training for many years helped a lot. What's great about the show as well is that they welcome me in, and they haven't seen me as a newcomer. They see me as someone who can help and add something to the show. They've been open to my ideas, they've asked for my ideas, I've had a lot of input on fight scenes that I have. We have some of the most talented athletes in the world here, and they come from all different backgrounds. But I really feel coming from WWE that it brings something different than what they have. We have an amazing product. And number one, Maven. Most fans know Maven for his work in the Ruthless Aggression era, and the former hardcore champion had some standout moments in WWE, which ranged from wrestling at WrestleMania 18 to eliminating The Undertaker from the 2002 Royal Rumble. Upon exiting the wrestling industry, Maven moved away from the public limelight, and he was working as a bouncer. However, in 2023, he magically resurfaced by creating his own YouTube channel. Maven's channel, simply titled Maven Huffman, has become the go-to for thousands of wrestling fans, and at the time of this video, his channel has eclipsed 385,000 subscribers. Maven's content is unbelievably fun and engaging, as he breaks down what it's genuinely like to be a pro wrestler. He allows fans to see behind the curtain like never before, and Maven does this with a charm and sense of humor that the wrestling YouTube space was crying out for. But there you have it folks, wrestlers who are now moved on and live a normal life. Be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.